Welcome to the Happy Camper. I don't know what we're going to call this. This is totally different. We're doing something totally different today. Change is good, which is why I'm here in front of a purple wall. I'm at Bridgeport Media. A bunch of guys I know that do some media, uh, social media stuff. And I thought I would do some Happy Camper stuff for while I'm here. Why not? A lot of people are asking me right now how to keep warm out there, how to lay yourself, how to fashion yourself so you don't freeze to death. Most important thing is woolly gitch. Merino wool, it actually is a type of wool, doesn't itch, doesn't smell that bad, and nope, doesn't smell that bad. And uh, I like wool powders, I think it's one of the best. And uh, boy, this is amazing because your moisture leaves uh, your body as opposed to soak in. If you actually wear cotton gitch, which you shouldn't, uh, it will actually get soaky, wetty, clammy, disgusting, and uh, you'll get the chills. Wool t-shirt, wool shirt, wool sweater. <laughs> wool jacket. I love this wool jacket. This is a, a Filson jacket, something I've always wanted. It's a forestry jacket made of wool. It will actually rain and just shake it all off. It's actually really good. I really like this because it's a forestry jacket that I always wanted when I worked in forestry and I could not afford. And now I have it. Why well, it's called a forestry jacket, if you look at my back, uh, this is where your map goes in when you're timber cruising. Nice timber cruise, but that's another story. You can actually also use a, a down uh, puff uh, jacket, really nice and warm. And uh, I use this as my pillow and also my emergency. I'm really cold. I got to put something on that puff up and look like a Michelin man. My puffy pants. These are the same idea from outdoor research. They actually, uh, they have uh, down in them. I wore those around camp at night. And then if it was really cold going across the lake, uh, I'll actually put a windbreaker a pant on with these and toasty. This is an anorak. It is made of cotton. And I just said uh, that cotton kills. And yeah, it does in one sense, especially wearing cotton, a cotton gitch. This is amazing. So what I do is I put this on with wool underneath. My sweat comes out into the, into the, uh, um, the wool and then uh, it actually breathes out onto the anorak and the canvas. The canvas soaks it all up. This is a windbreaker, nothing to keep you warm, just to break the wind. I get to camp, hang it up to dry, and then when it even freezes on it, I shake off the crystals. And this really is a good breaker. A fur hood. And yes, it's made out of coyote fur. However, it was ethically harvested from the Sally Ann store down the road. Water, so you put hot water in there, put it down in my body and just nice, toasty, warm. Makes you want to pee though. Next, hands. Ooh, nothing to see. Wear mitts, not gloves. If you wear gloves, your fingers are separate and they'll get cold. I know this because these two hands were frostbitten when I was timber cruising back in the old day. And uh, up in Sault Ste. Marie, it got really cold one day, minus 46 or something like that. And I was in my 20s, and now when it gets cold and damp, these things sting like you wouldn't believe. Uh, I love these. These are puff uh, um, booties for your hands. Around camp, if I'm just doing chores and stuff like that, I'll wear something like that. From Wool Power, just a sort of a hand gaiter. And when it gets really cold, I'll actually put a gauntlet over the main, main mitt. You should have one of these gloves, because you're going to deal with fire all the time. Especially if you're hot tanning, you got the stove in there, you're cutting wood and stuff like that. So wear leather gloves. Blah, 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 blah. All right. Next are your feet. Feet. You can wear what's called a pack boot. If you do wear a pack boot, these are great, nice and warm. However, they're big and clunky. They look like Urban Monster. But if you do wear these, make sure that this, um, not insole, this insulation, whatever it's called, this thing removes. Because you want to take it out, dry it in the tent, put it in your sleep bag to dry at night. Put a new one in that you always carry uh, another pair and you always have those dry. So if you're getting a boot without that thing removing, you're wasting money. Uh, uh oh, I don't know where my other boot is. Phil! Phil's not here, Kevin. It's in your boot, your smelly boot. It's Gary, Gary works here. This is what I wear at night around camp, my booty. It's a down booty, love them. You can't find my boot. This is the big thing about boots, insoles. Uh, always buy an extra insole. These are merino, merino wool uh, as well, or you can get something like this. You put them on the bottom of the boot, and that's a layer underneath you, and that will make a huge difference to keep your feet warm. So we found a boot! Incoming, you boot. senile old man! <laughs> boot! Just a, like a tall hiker, and uh, the goods about this is that it's really lightweight, very comfortable to wear, really good with snowshoes. It doesn't have a... a um, an insulation pad you can take in and out, but it does have a removal insole. So I would actually, I should take that out, not even put that in, and put one of these in and then dry them every night because the moisture will collect in there. This is a mukluk or what some people call winter moccasin. It's canvas with leather. Fantastic. You put a couple pair of socks in with that with 
one of these insulators with one of these, you will keep really warm. However, don't wear this thing uh, when it gets too warm out because if it's wet, they'll so get soggy and not so great. So if it's minus 10 or colder uh, Celsius, I'll wear this, dry snow, and it'll be really toasty warm, fantastic. Really good with snowshoes too, by the way. This as well, little pad that I always take with me. I kneel on it, I sit on it, I put it inside my sleeping bag, put it on my, my feet, keep my feet warmer. I also, when I'm standing around camp doing nothing, I stand on it. So that will actually really help keep your feet warm. Next, your head. Wool hat, if it's somewhat cold out, you can tell I like wool. And it's actually healthy for the sheep, it doesn't die. Or you get this one, it's really cold, and when you wanna look real cool. The other thing I like wearing is either a balaclava or this here really like now this will keep you very warm almost like a balaclava but actually a little bit easier to put on put your hat on top your hat on top that's it that's all i got uh thanks for coming out and yes i love the purple wall right gary uh sure kevin <laughs> this is crazy end it now yuck what a terrible segment <laughs>